Rom, hmm. rom, Do you think rom, that rom, people rom, who rom. have like ADHD or isn't ADHD, which, which, which is the one that the guy on his deathbed said isn't real? Is it ADHD? Like ADD is real, but the guy who created ADHD said it was bullshit. Right. I don't know. Yeah, is it is. That, it's ADHD. Is that one? Yeah. What did, What was exactly happened? He was on his deathbed, and he's like, ah, it's just bullshit. <laughs> yeah, I, I wonder if he he was being serious about it, or if it was just because he was crazy. I was know, fucking right. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. What What is the difference? ADD is attention deficit disorder, and ADHD is... attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, isn't it? It, how much of that, I mean, how, how accurate is their prognosis or their diagnosis of ADD? Because so often they're dealing with kids and kids are bored as fuck, you know? And it's not because they have a disease. It's because you're making them do something boring as fuck. Like, I know because I have children. I watch how, how they develop as like little, little people sort of learning how to get through things. It's difficult for them to sit down. Yes. They got fucking energy. They want to dance and play and have fun. They want to throw things and, and yeah. wrestle with each other and play. When you make them sit, even if they're 10 or 12, they're still juiced up with life. And if you make them sit and just do things, they get fucking bored. And they know that what they're doing is not as fun as baseball. They know what they're doing is not as fun as the video game that they're addicted to. They know yes. it's not as fun as playing with their friends when school's over. So they can't wait to get the fuck out of there. And then you say, well, this boy's got a disease. Well, then, no, they don't. You're, you're offering them shit sandwiches and they're not hungry. Yeah, no shit. I, I, yeah, and that's why I think it's a funny term, attention deficit disorder. Because yeah. these kids, there's no deficit in yeah. attention. There's a, a, there's a maybe a, it's an attention control disorder in the sense yeah. that they you can't control what they focus their mind on. I, I know I have an attention control disorder because... I can be sitting on my porch and then like look down at my phone and not look up for another 15 minutes. Okay, but stop right there because you don't. Because if it's something that you really love, like StarCraft, you can fucking lock on to that shit for hours. Hours. You can tune in with 100% of your being for hours. That's not an attention deficit disorder. What you have is a love of StarCraft. What you yeah. have is you find the one thing that you you just fucking really vibe on and you chase after that vibe on. It sounded very 70s. Well, no, it's, it's true. It's Manson it, family it, on everybody. It, but I, I think that it's a I, I, if I had my if I could I would much rather maybe this is an impossibility or fantasy but I'd much rather have the ability to lock my attention onto anything I wanted to with the exact same level that gets locked onto things that I enjoy because I think if I could do that, then I would be able to... Uh, but, but you can if, if you actually works. enjoy it. If you actually enjoy it, you can. Yeah, but certain things like books, uh, like especially like really long novels, like I'm just lis listening to... The Stand, the Stephen King audiobook, right. The Stand. Oh, it's good. But I'll tell you, the first like two hours, there's a lot of shit in there that doesn't involve people coughing up sprays of thick, briny plague mucus and wandering through an apocalyptic wasteland. There's just a lot of character development that's not that fun. Right. It, but you need, you need to focus on that because it brings the characters to life more. It kindles the fire of the story. So it's like, you know, and also uh, running. You know, when I go jogging, the first 30 minutes or 20 minutes aren't exactly a blast. Like my mind's going everywhere, but then this thing will kick in where suddenly you're like, ah, oh, this is fucking amazing. It feels so good. But to get there, you need to get through the first 30 minutes or however long of not enjoying it mm. or fucking jujitsu. When I was taking jujitsu with Eddie Bravo, man, that wasn't, my mind was everywhere. And like, I know if I just had the ability to focus on that for a year, then that would have radically transformed my life. So that's why I say I wish that I could figure out a way to make my mind grow, become immersed in anything that I wanted to instead of what it wanted to get immersed in. You still can. Not only can you still do it, you, you, what you described is the very difficult aspects of things that you really enjoy. It's a, a subset or a, another aspect of how you like find what you enjoy and make what you enjoy better. And that, that involves doing things that you don't enjoy at all. It involves work. And that's the weird yeah. sort of thing that happens to kids when they learn a sport or they learn a martial art or, you know, you, you try Language. out for the wrestling team or something. When you realize, like, well, you, I love wrestling, but to get really good at wrestling, you got to go through wrestling practice. And that's a motherfucker.